everyone welcome back to Rose of Green and today I've got another unboxing review for you um, unfortunately there is no box there just wasn't enough room at my uh, area here but as you know uh, Mars Hydro products come uh, packed fairly well with lots of good packing it's nice and tight in the box and uh, I very seldomly find any damage and uh, if if I was to I'm very sure that Mars would come good for it and uh, fix me up so uh, anyway, let's get on with this unboxing. So this is what comes in the box of uh, the Mars Hydro FC 6500. You get your user manual. Uh, it actually has a bunch of lights in it. Uh, it has a description for all of the lighting in here. But uh, first off, I will tell you that this thing is uh, 44.5 inches long and 44.1 inches wide. And uh, it's about three inches tall. Um, uh, they want you, they say uh, they want you to hang it around 12 to 18 inches. So that's what we will do. We will probably go about 18 inches. Uh, we will find the proper spot for it, and uh, that's where I will start testing it because this is going to be a par test uh, unboxing review, and uh, I'll even check the spectrum. So uh, with my upper tech uh, par 200 meter, but um, anyway. This is your manual. It tells you everything you need to know about it. So that comes with it. Like I said, we'll be hanging at 18 inches. And then you get your uh, your daisy chain. It's like a phone cord type deal. Uh, that's so you can connect your other lights just for your dimmers. It is not a power daisy chain. It's just a dimmer daisy chain. Uh, then you got inside there, you can see that you got your little hang wires. And then you got your two rope ratchets and uh, the rope ratchets are plastic but I haven't had any problems with the plastic ones yet so anyway that's what comes in there and if you haven't noticed by now I'm just gonna zoom in here and show you uh, it comes with this new Mozo driver uh, they moved on from Inventronics uh, Inventronics is a very good driver but I have heard many good things about Mozo as well uh, they're a little bit newer to the game they're a little bit cheaper of a driver but uh, all the reviews that I have checked on online uh, say that they're very good. They're well built and uh, they're reliable. And uh, not only that, they're uh, cheaper uh, cheaper for you to run on your lighting if you are a company. Um, the efficiency is good with them and everything else. I really dug deep into this where I found the information and uh, I really couldn't find too many things wrong with it. Uh, it's uh, I-65 proof, waterproof. Uh, so it's good in humidity and everything. So I would, thought I'd touch on that. And then it comes with your dimmer. It goes from 10% to 100%. So your minimum would be 10%, and then your max would be 100. Uh, you got your channels. So that's for your daisy chain for your dimming. And then your on-off switch is on there. On the back, you will find a switch that you turn on and off. And uh, that is what makes you be able to control the dimmer uh, with the other light. So if you're having issues with one of your Mars Hydro brands that has a dimmer and it's not dimming correctly, make sure your switch on the back is uh, uh, in the up position or uh, play around with it just to make sure because uh, I have heard people complain that the dimmer stopped working um, and then they found out about this switch and then they were happy because uh, their light started dimming again so make sure you check that uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna zoom back out here again and uh, we will show you the diodes so here we are I'm just gonna show you guys the light I have it uh, I just have it folded in half here but uh, the purpose to this was because I wanted to show you the diode so the diodes we are running here are the Samsung LM301Bs and uh, they're 3000K and 5000K and then your reds here these little things here those are 660 nanometer and those are by Osram so we're running uh, we're running chips by Samsung and chips by Osram and uh, like I said very nice light very efficient now let's hang this uh, girl and we will see how she does. I apologize, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys before I hung this and did the power and spectrum test and it's just uh, what, this structure, or what this unit is made out of. It is made out of aluminum 
and it's got these fins here uh, let me just zoom in a bit it's got these fins and they go about a half inch deep as you can see as I put the paper in there and uh, it really helps to dissipate the heat so these things run a lot cooler than uh, you would expect them to so it's just something else to uh, note if you're looking into a grow light of some sort uh, make sure it has some sort of heat sink and uh, a way of helping it cool uh, that will help your light last a lot longer so uh, Mars really has a nice structure going on here with their light and I'm happy with it so let's hang this thing now and we'll see how it does it's hanging here now I'll just give you guys a shot of the diodes how they look uh, how they're stacked up in the sides the corners uh, and it really proves to be beneficial so it's looking good there I also wanted to show you guys I got the hang height at 18 inches hope you can read that so that's at 18 inches we got our dim dimmer to max and we are reading 660 watts so it's a 650 watt light plus plus or take away 5% uh, of your overall power so uh, 660 seems about right uh, anyway let's get on with the rest of this testing okay here we are so I'm just gonna turn this on here and I'm hoping you could read that you can this is uh, nine nine let's get our dead center here uh, we're at about 940 dead center if I go up straight across to the other side we're at 865 if I go over to the far corner you can see that's where the double stack diodes really help out and we're at almost 900 so 899 900 when I come down the side around 910 and of course this corner is going to fall off because uh, one of the uh, air ducts is in the way of the lighting but I will just stop it over here see the the ducting is getting in the way so I'll just bring it over straight in front of us here at 856 back to the center about 940 945 that's at 18 inches that's actually pretty awesome off the side over there and we're almost at 800 790 about and then there's more ducting in the way over here uh, I'll show you the ducting what I mean you can see that you see that ducting there it's in the way of my meter so it's blocking the light but anyway you get a pretty good idea of how it's going so I'll bust out the spectrometer now and uh, we will take a look at that okay so before we do uh, the spectrum test I just want to show you what I was using uh, this is the MQ 610 uh, it's called the EPAR by Apogee Instruments and they call it the EPAR because it has extended range uh, it reads your far reds and UVs so uh, that's a cool little unit that I use for uh, measuring the par and then this unit here is uh, upper tech you could find uh, them at uh, down in the description below I put the website and this reads the par along with your spectrum so what you do with this is you just place it underneath where you want to take a reading of your light and then it's got an app where you lo load up the app so after it boots up you could kind of just go back go to your basic uh, you push the button down below and it will start to take your measurement and then it gives you your reading so once uh so now you can see we got our readings there i don't know how good you can read those but uh we will go out and we'll go to uh, the spectrum and you can see the spectrum how it's high in the reds uh, it's probably around uh 34 3500 k 
so we'll go check the overall color temperature of this light so uh, like uh, 5,000 would be for veg and like 3,000 for flour and we're right at uh, 3,500 so or 3,465 that's actually perfect right around where I would like to be uh, that's a good uh, good overall temperature for a light a lot of them are around 33 to 35 uh, we'll check out uh, the color rendering index and it's 88.81 and if we go back out and go to our basics uh, we can see that our UV is 1.124 uh, but there are no UV chips so that's just what the lights giving off our, our blue spectrum is 143.9 uh, our green is 382.6 and our uh, color cor correlated temperature, as we previously said, is 3465. And then our red spectrum is uh, 423. So, and then our far red is 27.65. So, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good overall uh, spectrum for this thing. And, uh, Par, you got to remember this was taken at 18 inches, uh, 950 PPFD, PFD of 978. So, very good very good light i hope you guys enjoyed this review uh please remember to hit that like button hit the subscribe button uh if you're looking for pulse meters or anything uh that i use here you could check down in the description i usually have promo codes and everything else for you guys to use so remember hit that subscribe button hit the like button share this wherever you want and we will see you guys in the next one peace out